Hello ladies and gentlemen, on today's video I'm going to be working on the Technical Pro RX 503 Stereo Amplifier. Um, the problem with this amplifier is that the speaker terminal stopped working. There's no sound coming out, but I did try on this preamp output line and I also tried them on the headphone jack and I did get sound. So I know, and, and sorry, and I heard the relay kick in, so I know that there is sound running through the amplifier. It's just where well, the speaker terminal is that there's no sound coming out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the case and focus on just the area where the speaker terminal is at. Well, there's not that much to this board. It's going to be an easy job, I think. All right, let me get close up. So... This is the area I want to. I'm, I mainly have to have my focus on. That's where the speaker terminals is at. So, just looking into the board, I already see one capacitor that's bolted. I don't know if you can see it. Let me bring it up a little closer. If I twist it to the side, you can see the boldness at the end. So I'm thinking that's all that's wrong with this amplifier because I am getting sound through the output for the preamp, which is on is located on this side. And I am also getting my, for the headphone jack, which is located on this side, I'm getting sound. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this one capacitor and check to see if that was, if, I'm sorry, and check to see if that was all that was wrong with this amplifier. All right, so I, I discharged these two capacitors. What you can do it is with a wrench, you go on both the positive and the, and the negative. And you hold it together so it can discharge. So right here, just so you can see the wires I took off. The first input was this double white wire. I mean double white wire. The second input was for the fan. The third input that I took off was from, from the power supply, which is two blue, blue wires with a black ground. And another power supply wire, which is two green wires with a ground black wire that falls right here. Next thing, the next thing I did, these six screws right here and these two screws on the bottom to give me enough space to move it. it gives me enough space to be able to rotate it just like that. Now where I'm going to be working at, and, if just, and just in case if you're looking where you're going to discharge the two big capacitors, it'll be in this area down here. Where I'm going to be focusing on right here, right where I see all this smudge i don't know what that is but i'm gonna clean up anyway that's exactly where i'm gonna remove this one capacitor and hopefully that's just the problem to this amplifier so we have another problem here as you see right here let me get up a little closer this is actually a connection that broke off it's not the end of the world i can still fix it just building a bridge first thing i need to do is check my points and see exactly where this line actually directs me to so i see that this line connects to this end and this end right here so what i can do is i can connect the wire to this end and bridge it to this end and i'll have this line again working properly so as you see i got my bridge here and that is how you connect a broken connection with a bridge i remove the capacitor as you see, I made a mistake. I said it was on this side, but it was actually on this side. I actually got to clean this because I actually put a little bit of sort of paste on it. To the capacitor that came out, as you see, look at the boldness. Here's the number of it. So I did get the replacement of the new capacitor, which the voltage is about 15% more. Um, I did add some extra wires to it, so that way... I can be able to um, pull it in easier. I got my connections on, it's right here. These two soldering points. Uh, as you see, I got the capacitor in already. So the next thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put everything together. I'm gonna reheat, reheat this solder. I don't like the way it looks, so we can have a solid lock. And after that, hopefully everything works out just fine. All right, so, um. I assembled everything. I put the wires and all. That is the new capacitor right there. Have everything intact. And I also forgot to mention at the beginning of the video, the fan would have spin. So I'm hoping before I put the um the speakers on that that spin is that that fan is spinning because 
um, that fin is very important to all these components. It takes out all the hot air. So here we go. I'm gonna power it on. Awesome. And I hear the relay. Boom, that's what I wanted to hear, that sound. And the fan is working. Next step, to see if I can sound. Awesome. So here's the amplifier. I have two sets of speakers on the beach side. I'm gonna see if both channels are working, both left and right. I already know that it turns on. Now we gotta see if there's sound. I'll we'll plug it in. Um, turn it on. There you go, it's powered on. Got my free Roy tool. Free royalty music ready to play. Put it on B. Gotta wait for it to click. There you go. B. And now let's see the moment of truth. We got sound on both sides. Now to check the A side. It's right here, located right here on the top side. Once, once if these get work, 100%, this amplifier is good. So now, on the A side terminal, let's play it, power it on, okay, turn it on, fan still working. All right, it's on A. Now let's see the moment of truth for both. Speaker terminals are working properly. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed day. Goodbye.